India's service sectors have in recent years played a critical role in stabilizing the economy and navigating it out of some tough times like the recent slowdown. In fact, 57% of India's GDP is thanks to its service sectors. So it's only natural that we focus on some of these critical service sectors that are being fueled by small and medium enterprises. First services category is transport and logistics. India's transport and logistics sector is a multi-dimensional force driving India through one of its most productive decades in its history. It is contributing almost 6.2% of the country's total GDP with road transportation contributing the lion's share. Today this 90 billion US dollar industry is generating employment for over 45 million people and is moving India towards a better future. Next service category is IT, ITES, BPO and value added services. India's information technology sector accounts for over 5% of India's GDP. It's an industry that is playing a key role in putting India on the world map and is a significant catalyst of the Indian economy. The Indian IT industry has come a long way after its inception way back in 1968. Although the major limelight in this sector has been hogged by the big companies like TCS, Wipro and Infosys, there are a lot of small and micro level companies that have created a real niche for themselves. The good interesting part is that there are a large number of entrepreneurs coming in uh, and coming up with good ideas and I think their time uh, has arrived now. Right, uh, many of these small companies. So, if you look at even companies like Infosys and uh, Cognizant and Satyam, they were very small at one time, but over the years they have become large, and I think we have seen that happen. But I think the real opportunity right now is because of the spread of internet, cloud, mobile. Right, uh, these are areas which are so conducive for small and medium companies to do. The next category is travel and hospitality. India has the potential to become the number one tourist destination in the world with its travel and tourism sector growing at more than 10% per annum. The country currently has over 2 lakh hotel rooms spread across different hotel categories and guest houses. After witnessing a specter of negative growth in the preceding years, India's tourism and hospitality sector made a strong comeback in 2010. With tourist arrival figures touching almost 6 million, India's famed tourism and hospitality saw its sunshine days return. And the good cheer seems set to continue with the industry expected to pump in investments of up to 12 billion US dollars in the next two years. Our next category is finance, banking and allied services. The Indian financial and banking sector along with its many allied services plays a critical role in strengthening the economy and making it productive as well as competitive. With avenues in insurance, banking, microfinance, capital markets and other allied services, SMEs are increasingly finding entrepreneurial opportunities in this sector. Another category is healthcare, biotech and hospital services. India's increasing population is constantly pumping up the demand for quality healthcare services. By 2012, the country is expected to have an 8% of GDP spend on the healthcare sector and 40 billion new jobs are expected to be created in the country by 2020. Growing at 15% annually, the Indian healthcare sector plays a pivotal role in fueling the economic growth of the country. Currently, it is assumed by a lot of studies, whether it's ENY or Edelweiss or Frost and Sullivan, or even the American uh, few consultancies have estimated Indian healthcare market, including the pharmaceutical, it, they are billing it somewhere around a range of 32 to 40 billion as of today. In terms of your skills and competence, Indian healthcare professionals are no less than anyone. And the testimony and the evidence for that is, you go to National Health Scheme of UK, 
you take out the indian doctors and the indian professionals the system collapses and the special category is of the women entrepreneur women hold numerous positions of importance in various spheres of life today they have successfully made their presence felt in the corporate world politics and many other fields playing a pivotal role in the india growth story this special award category salutes the undying spirit of the indian woman because from the kitchen to the boardroom there is nothing that she cannot conquer so there are five service categories in all and a special award category for india's enterprising women entrepreneurs so those were the broad categories in which you can nominate your smes you can find all the information on www.leaders.economictimes.com